Welcome to another episode of Backyardia History. My name is Jesse, and today I have for you the Can Cannon Mark I. The Can Cannon Mark I was a prototype weapon developed during the Great Pumpkin War or to hold off the Great Gord Menace onslaught. It fires blank firing 556 five, rounds from a magazine, but it's actually a muzzle loader smoothbore. 260 caliber earth soda can launching device. In this configuration, it's non rifled and firing blanks, so it's actually more like a, an industrial uh, nail gun for driving harder nails into concrete, which uses 22 caliber blanks. What we're going to look at is the old original training video developed by the Backyardian Army for this device. So we'll cut to that now. Today we'll be demonstrating the latest Encounter Pumpkin Defense Technology, the Can Cannon Mark I. To deploy the Can Cannon Mark I, we must first bring on the thunder, extract it from your pouch, break the air seal, load into the muzzle. Load magazine. Make the turn thing work. And you're ready for anything. And there's anything right there. Deploy. Aim. Shoot. You may find it necessary periodically to switch from the HE explosive rounds to our newly developed solid Delrin AP round. We're now loaded and ready to go. Slip tight data chip. This is the part of the video where we were going to have a sponsor, but instead we just have this cat video. So just sit back and pretend that whatever we were selling was amazing and that you bought it so we can pretend to get paid by it. whatever we were doing. Now that we have sufficiently softened up our target, we have to remember the four P's. Ptolemy's pneumatic pterodactyl psychosis. No, no, no. Um, uh, uh, pow, as in uh, hit it from the front, uh, puncture, stab it in the back, and then Prepare the target, and now we will administer the can of Coupe de Grassi. Uh, uh, we need another P in there, so Ptolemy again. So, anyway, put the can inside. Let her up! I was a little bit disappointed with that one, which just goes to show you that when you are assembling a quadratic alliteration involving the 16th station of the alphabet, do not make Ptolemy one of that assembly. It will end up fizzling. Ah, so to reiterate the correct pr and proper four P's. First, you must perceive the pumpkin. Three, you must prepare. And lastly, POW! <laughs> now, 
Thank you. This has been a demonstration on the Can Cannon Mark I. The keen-eyed among you may have noticed that it got a little bit off the rails at the end, but that was the nature of early low-budget backyardian uh, video making. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, and hopefully we'll have another episode of Backyardian History for you soon. on my shoulder. I say differently.